Hey there, space enthusiasts and curious minds. Ever wondered what it would be like to die on another planet? It's a morbid thought, but an interesting one nonetheless. In this video, we're going to take a cosmic journey through our solar system. We'll explore the unique and often brutal ways each planet might spell our doom. So buckle up, because this is going to be one wild ride through space. Let's start with the planet closest to the Sun, Mercury. On Mercury, you'd face extreme temperature swings. During the day, temperatures can reach a scorching 800 degrees Fahrenheit, 427 degrees Celsius. At night, they plummet to minus 290 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 179 degrees Celsius. You'd either burn up or freeze solid in a matter of minutes. The lack of atmosphere means you'd also be exposed to intense solar radiation. Your skin would blister and your cells would break down rapidly. Moving on to Venus, often called Earth's evil twin. The atmosphere on Venus is incredibly thick and toxic. It's mostly carbon dioxide with clouds of sulfuric acid. The pressure at the surface is 90 times that of Earth. You'd be crushed before you even reach the ground. If by some miracle you survived that, the 900 degrees Fahrenheit, 482 degrees Celsius surface temperature would vaporize you. Now let's skip Earth and head to Mars. Mars might seem more hospitable, but it's still deadly. The atmosphere is very thin, mostly carbon dioxide. You couldn't breathe, and your blood would literally boil due to low pressure. The average temperature is minus 80 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 62 degrees Celsius, so you'd freeze pretty quickly. Dust storms could last for months, blocking out the sun and any hope of rescue. Jupiter, the largest planet in our solar system, is next. Jupiter doesn't have a solid surface to stand on. You'd fall through layers of increasingly dense gas. The pressure would eventually crush you. If the pressure didn't get you, the extreme cold would. Temperatures can drop to minus 234 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 145 degrees Celsius near the center. Saturn, with its beautiful rings, is equally uninhabitable. Like Jupiter, it's a gas giant with no solid surface. You'd fall through the atmosphere, experiencing intense pressure. The planet's core is believed to be rocky, but you'd never reach it alive. Saturn's atmosphere is mostly hydrogen and helium. You'd suffocate long before reaching the depths where pressure becomes fatal. Uranus, the ice giant, would be a chilly death. The atmosphere is mostly hydrogen, helium, and methane. You'd freeze instantly in temperatures as low as minus 371 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 224 degrees Celsius. The pressure would crush you if the cold didn't get you first. Uranus has the coldest planetary atmosphere in the solar system. Neptune, the last planet in our solar system, is similarly deadly. It's another ice giant with a hostile environment. Winds on Neptune can reach supersonic speeds of 1,200 miles per hour, 1,931 kilometers per h. These winds would tear you apart before you got very far. The pressure and cold would finish the job if the winds didn't. Let's not forget about Pluto, even though it's now classified as a dwarf planet. On Pluto, you'd face temperatures of minus 387 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 233 degrees Celsius. Your body would freeze solid almost instantly. The atmosphere is extremely thin, mostly nitrogen with some methane and carbon monoxide. You'd suffocate if you didn't freeze first. Now what about the sun? While not a planet, it's worth mentioning. You'd be vaporized long before reaching the surface. The sun's corona, its outer atmosphere, is millions of degrees Fahrenheit. Even approaching within millions of miles would be fatal due to intense radiation. It's clear that Earth is uniquely suited for human life. Our planet provides the perfect balance of temperature, pressure, and atmosphere. The more we learn about other planets, the more we appreciate our home. So there you have it, a tour of death across our solar system. Pretty grim, isn't it? But it's also a reminder of how special our planet Earth is. 
We're in a cosmic sweet spot that allows life to thrive.